previously. Let us take a look and see how this affects the railway. Yeah, bang that there. Fact, what if we do it this way? Whoa. So, so a normal speed. And then, whoa! Okay, they're pretty good. Alright, can we get on the... Can we hammer those to face a different direction? It looks like we can, actually. Right, they only face two directions. Now that, to me, seems freaking slimes. Did this one not change? Can't change that one. Okay. Uh, come on. That is uh, quite a bit of speed on that. I don't think we need that many. Should we try it with just one, see if we get the same speed boost? Hang on a second. And then we go... Right, that's definitely not the same level of speed, is it? Okay, I'm, I'm... Now I'm getting used to this. Right, here's what we do, look. Here is what we do. We destroy all of this. Then, we stick on these speed boosts. Like that. I want that one. And then... Are these facing all the correct way still? Looks like they are. Oh, then the speed you get off of those is insane. Even trying to go backwards doesn't work. Right, let me down, let me down. Right, now I want to get some regular tracks. And then I want to put one regular track on the end. Then I'm going to hammer it into that spring thing. There we go. So now I can just go... Boing! Oh, I like it, I'm liking it! I like it a lot, right. Let's, ooh, don't do that, because that's going to break my track. Let's do that. And then, how often do we need one of these? It seems like we can go quite a way, you know. Right, let's get some wood and some iron, which I believe we have. Let's take five of them. And then five wood. Is that really all it needs? Because we make 50 at a time, don't we? I think. Is my brain failing me already? Let's have a look. We can make that many. Ironically, I have twice as many booster tracks as I do regular tracks, but we'll see. Right. How about if I do these every... I don't know. Let's see how good the actual booster is. How far it can get me. Oh, I love that, right. Should we bring it down and then go through here? I think that'd be pretty... Can I do them against torches? I don't know if I can. I have to bring it under the torch. I could do that. Yeah, I could do that, right. You, just go away. So, if we figure out where we want to line it up... And then... Here. Right? This is an awfully steep descent. I really hope I don't clunk my brain on these icicles down here as I go up. Right, now we're at the really awkward part again where I have to jump and do it. Oh, I'm doing much better than last time. Probably because it was really dark last time. Oh my goodness, that is quite... <laughs> That is quite the uh, steepness thing. Now, I guess the one downside to booster tracks is that you can only ever have them going in one direction. Or can you? If I wired them up against a leave, um, a pressure thing, would they give me a boost? Right, I need to figure this out. Let's go home. 
let's get some wireage. We'll probably want these and let's take a green one for this because you never know I may run into some wires. My general default wire color is going to be B, 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 red. Right, so if I were to, let's say, put some like that, and then I did some like power tracks here. You'd need a few power tracks, wouldn't you, to blast you all the way up there? And if I put a pressure plate track here, this is getting a bit confusing, uh, and then wired those up like that and then hammered these so they all face the correct way so they're all facing that way now so if I just quickly kill these enemies so if I were to ride this way and I hit that Oh, it does work! I would need one on either side of it. But I can change the um, angle of them. Look, now they're facing that way. So I can get it, get it to find me up. Okay, I can do that, right. I need to make more pressure plate things. So right now they're facing the wrong way, look. So if I go down... It flicks me and sends me that way. Huh. Right, hang on. This is gonna need a bit of a bit of forethought here. I can't go back because of Right, there we go. That now that's a default. As I ride down this isn't going to work either, is it? Yeah, this will work. As I, as I ride down, that will change the angle to fire me the other way. Right, I know what I need to do. Here's what you do. Get rid of those. Get rid of that and that. We put a pressure plate here. Then regular track around it. Oops. Like that. And now... I accidentally destroy the track. Now if I change the pressure plate to that. No, the other way. I want it to face the other way temporarily. There. No, no, no. The other way. The other way. That should be good now, because if I ride down it, it won't change until after I've gone past it. And now if I go this way, no, that doesn't work out. <laughs> oh no, how am I going to do this? I don't think I can have it sending me backwards. I think it's always going to be one way, isn't it? Unless I add it to a lever, and then as I ride down just to hit the lever as I go to <laughs> make it flick. That's going to be a nightmare to try and do. Alright, forget it. We won't do the pressure plate thing then. Give me that pressure plate back. Meanwhile, put one of those down and give me this back. If you guys know how to get it so it will work like that, like maybe like, as I say, I'm probably being an idiot because it is very late. So if you guys can figure out a way that I would be able to get the pressure plate system to work without it being a massively complicated system of wiring, let me know. Because right now, I ma no, you know what, I don't think it's going to matter because this is to get me away from here nice and quick. But if I am over on that side anyway... I'm not going to ride the rails back, am I? I'm just going to use the my magic mirror. See, this is where it would have come really in handy if what that guy said was true. 
Where if I held down and fly, I would hover. Right, I, I need to get rid of that because I cannot see what I'm placing and where I'm placing it. There we go, right. There. There. We can do this. We can, oh. This is the worst. Every time I change back to my Pixar as well, it resets my cursor placement to be much closer to me than I want it to be. So then I have to re-extend it. I'm going to go back to the minecart track. I've done it again. I've done it again. I'm so close though. Is this going to work? Do I, I think I might have to pull back the other track a little bit more. You've got to be kidding me. Is there a way to light up the track? I wonder. Because it's awfully dark up there. So dark, in fact, I can barely see what I'm doing. Yeah? Like, whoa, I did not mean to do all that. Also, I'm an idiot. What did you guys teach me? You taught me how to do this properly with the this grapple. Ah. As I said, it's late, and I get very, very stupid. Why am I going down? I'm aiming over here. Stupid grapple system. Just showing me up. Alright, so now we'll go down here, gain a lot of speed, as we fly down. I don't hit my head. Oh my god, I crushed those slimes! That is amazing! I did not know I could do that. Alright, so now we want to go up. And luckily, this is where things get a little bit easier, to say the least, because even though I'm doing this at an angle, it's at an angle I'm comfortable with. Right. Out you come. Time to protect me. Don't often like having these things hanging around because they get in my way and I can't see what I'm doing, but... In fact, where did he even go? What are you doing up there? Come down here. There we go. Jeez, I'm crow. Good help is hard to find these days. Hope we go a bit more. Just trying to keep this at like a... Maybe not a constant distance, but at least... Slightly elevated from the ground. Now if you're wondering when the next booster track is coming, I'm gonna die because I'm not wearing dragon armor. Did I ever choose a new weapon to replace? No, right. For the meantime, I'm putting dragon armor on so I don't die while I'm building this thing. Yeah, have it like at least a little bit above. And then maybe some more power tracks here. We'll probably lose our momentum after going up that, don't we? And then we're going up a little bit more here. So we'll pop off that torch. That's probably enough, I imagine. And then I just showed that I'm an idiot because I wasn't using this. Can't change that one at the end. Now I can. And then that torch I picked up, I'm going to place it back down just in a slightly different place. Inventory management is looking horrendous right now, by the way. It absolutely is. Minecraft track. Minecraft? I can't even say Minecraft properly. Well, these those um, butterfly things glow. That's pretty cool. Probably already knew that, but... It seems to me there should be a torch here, because it is very dark. In this pitch black little strip, I can't see. I think that's right, maybe? I'm so carefully watching what I'm doing. I'm really hoping I'm not making my world super ugly by doing this. There's only one way to find out though, and that's to build it. And you know what? It's going to save us a wee bit of time traversing the landscape. I imagine here is where things are going to get a little bit slow. So we'll put in two booster tracks. One of the. Right. 
I've got enough. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. 